Hi guys, it's Dee from Sarah Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's doing great today. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. On my channel, we do haul videos, both crafting and household items, as well as paper crafting videos. So if any of those are of interest to you, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. That being said, as you can tell by today's title, we are going to do a demo of the items we purchased that was on my Sheen Haul video, um, the crafting items. Uh, there's not many of them, but I'm going to show you how they work and what I think of them. So stick around and let's get into it. First item we have is this Impress. It's a hockey, air hockey puck looking thing. I stuck the sticker, the felt sticker on it. You use it when you're stamping on something. This is my Stamp Perfect um, little gadget, which I don't even know that they make it anymore. It's kind of like the Misty, but a different version of it, and it was cheap, so I got it way back when. It's very, very old. Um, we're going to just demo real quickly how the Stamp this position this thing works stamp what is it called oh, all right i'm going to ink it up we're using what are we using versafine onyx black ink push it down and this just gives you a even press an even impression and you can do it again if you choose to And do it again. This saves you from doing this. Oh, I got ink on me now. And like missing a spot or whatever. So that is that. I like this a lot. And I don't recall the price, but it's on my sheen. Give me a second, I'll look it up. My sheen orders. Let's see. Sheen is offering 90%, up to 90% off of, uh, it's a summer sale they're having right now. That is called a doo -doo 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 -doo, stamp pressure tool, and it was $1.96 I got it for. So that was a pretty good deal. All right, I'll clean that up later. Sticking with the stamping. You saw my previous video, my Sheen haul video. You saw that I got this stamp, and I was extremely disappointed because I saw that I was getting this. I didn't realize it was one piece. It says it right here, one piece. I thought the whole thing meant it was a piece, so I didn't realize I was just getting one stamp which i only got one stamp it was a dollar 71 it's a very cute stamp i like it a lot i've used it however i was disappointed i i just wish that they didn't advertise it like that i wish that they didn't show the pictures that they show on that site making me think that i'm getting a whole box even it out so I like the stamp a lot a whole lot I would probably for the price get the others I love wooden stamps however I was just a little disappointed in that I only got one I was disappointing in a disappointed in a few other items that I purchased from them as well um, the next one being This paper, this paper pack, I thought I was getting, see how big the picture is, see how her hand looks, the paper looks big, it says 50 random pattern pieces, I didn't realize it was going to be random, I thought I was getting random, like that's random to me, I didn't realize I was getting that, they look big, they are actually 2 and 2.2 inches by 
3.26 inches or 8.3 centimeters by 5.6 centimeters. I, again, my fault for not reading. It was only 76 cents. This is what I got. I have not used it. I will not use it. I'm probably going to do this in a giveaway once we hit a thousand subscribers. It does feel like newspaper. I guess there's stuff you can do with it. It's just not something I would ever use. So I'm very disappointed in that. So that's that. I wouldn't won't just put that in a in a giveaway though. I will put other items in there as well because that's kind of crappy. Next item we got was these wooden art office school supply erasers. You get six erasers. I'm going to send three of them up to Sarah. I already took everything out of the package because I don't like that sound. But let me find a piece of scratch because this might turn into a card actually. All right, guys, I'm re-recording this one. This is why it might be a little different. My nails are different now because I did not have the camera focused properly when I did it the first time. So we're going to try out these sketch eraser pencils that we got from Timu. And I'm going to find a pencil real quick, and we're going to check out how well they erase. So I'll zoom you in a bit. Let's just do a little quick sketch. A box. Let's see if we can erase some of the lines of the box. These are wooden with the eraser inside here. And they erase pretty well. Sorry about the shadow. It erases pretty well. It does crumb a lot. Like any eraser. Let's see how. The Dixon Ticonderoga eraser versus the sketch eraser. These crumbs are a little smaller. It's an eraser, guys. What can I say? It works the same as this eraser. It is soft. The only thing I don't like about this is it's wooden, so you'd have to use a pencil sharpener. It's what same thing with eyeliners. I don't buy eyeliners that have the wooden thing because I don't like that, that I have to use it. But it sharpens really good. So there's no problem there. I think this is a win. Uh oh, what happened there? It picked up another piece of the crumb that already had graphite on it from the pencil. I mean, it's an eraser, guys. I will be sending, there's six of them here. I'll be sending Sarah up. Three up to Sarah. Three of them I will keep. So, as erasers go, it's okay. Good deal. All right. Next item we have are these little stickers. Again, this was a disappointing situation for me because my fault for not reading, but I thought I was getting a ton of stickers. I thought I was getting all those. It says one piece butterfly long strip waterproof sticker. I didn't I paid 79 cents, 76 cents for them. I can't, I can't complain, but I was just, I need to learn to read people. But anyway, they're really pretty. Let's turn this into a card while we're just goofing off here. Let's open them up. 
Which one should we use? I'm thinking. Should we do that one? I like them all. Let's just do this one because it's in the bottom. Yes, I have a pokey tool here somewhere. Oh, we're going to use these tweezers. Oh, for the love of God. Take off his little wing. Let's fix it. There. Hopefully nobody notices. All right. Moving along. That's actually cute. Except. It was a pain in the butt to get these the sticky part off, so I probably won't use that. I might send that up to Sarah, actually. I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, so that's that one. Next item we have are these little... I've already used these. They're really cute. They're like these little ephem ephemera. It's called Moonlit Magic. And I'm probably going to use this card for something because that's pretty right. This was $2.05. You get 20 pieces. Mixed pattern decorative paper craft. These are, so our logo for Sarah Designs is a moon and stars. So you can see. And we have six cats and we love cats. So. I like this. So you get two of each. You get two black, or you get one black and one white. So here they are in the black. And like I said, I've already, this is like perfect for Sarah and my little logo and our, see there's the black and the white. This one I used the black of already. Get the little keys. Like I said, you get one of each color. The black one came missing a. Right now, my hands are filthy from playing in ink all day. It's missing a star, but I could always make one. This was. Oh, and this little guy. Oh, I saw. Is right here. So his little tip is missing. It's right there. So it's very, very, very delicate. They are. But I'll show you what I did with them. They're shinyish paper. I don't know if you could tell. It's like shimmery paper. And I've been making... little folio book that I learned off of. May May made it. And put pictures in it. It's got a magnetic enclosure. And then I made a holder for it. So my plan is to put 
three of them in there. And I used a couple, see the, see the shine? I used a couple on here, one on that side. So I thought that was perfect for that. So that's that. So these I like a lot and I wish I got more. Like I said, they're extremely delicate. I could probably make it with my brother's scanning cut, but it's very, very, very delicate. And I think to cut, it would cut the, I'd be afraid to try to make this, actually. I'd be afraid it would cut the paper. All right. Oh, I have two more items, guys. I'm sorry. All right. Stencils. Stencils, stencils, stencils. You know I love stencils. I make my own stencils. I have lots of stencils. I'm... Um, going to demo some of these stencils they are small they're nine there's nine of them they were two dollars and 64 cents and trying to get it to come up so i can tell you how big they are it says one size I'm trying 13 centimeters by 14 centimeters. That is in inches is six by six stencils. I put them in a little ring. I like the fact that they have this little, these holes in them so you can put them in a binder if you chose to. They are, some of them are thicker mylar than others. Um, that's the material they make them out of. Maybe it's just because of the design itself. Christmassy, well, snowflakey. You got the dots. So we're going to try out a couple real quick. A demo. On paper. To see how they work. I'm trying to find one that might work out okay for the project we're working on now together. I don't know. All right, let's try this first. I'm gonna use stress oxides. Bring you in closer. These are little makeup sponges I got for 99 cents each off of Timu. It's on my previous haul video, one of my previous haul videos. Love, love, love. And let's thread. Let's do orange. Let's try to move it. All right, that was there, right? Let's just. Move it a little bit. Let's see what we get. Very cool, little two tone kind of 3D kind of effect. That's pretty cool. These you can wipe off using a rag. I don't usually stencil on my mat. I usually pull up my glass mat, but because of the glare, I won't do it to you guys today. Let's try the little dots. Let's do a red. I'm not shaking you guys too much. Oh, that's subtle. That's pretty. We're going to do that on that card, I think. Not in red, though. Do I recommend their stencils? Yes. Like them a lot. 
I'm looking for a blue distress oxide. Bear with me here. Do you want to do a subtle? Oh, should we do yellow? We should probably do light yellow. Why was I thinking blue? Let's just do it lightly in the yellow. We'll just use what's left on here. It's probably going to ruin it. I always end up ruining the cards. I'm always like, crap, why did I go? I went like one step too far. Not too bad. Do you guys ever do that with your cards? You go like one step too far. Cause you're having so much fun. But that's how you learn what works and what doesn't work, I guess. All right, I think that's enough. Subtle. I'm gonna just wipe this off. Jen, I apologize for moving the table. All right, I'll have to clean that better later. All right, that's that. And then last but not least are these cute little dies. How cute are they? So let's, I swear, guys, none of this was planned. <laughs> I'm just like doing this off the, the wing of my pants, the something in my pants, seat of my pants, duh. All right, this is the one piece stainless steel cutting die. It's the modern bee design and it's $1.71 on Sheen. And feels like a normal, normal die. It does come apart. So we're gonna take it apart because I've been taking out my Vagabond lately and using that. My Sizzix Big Kick, kick is not really giving a very good impression these days. So I'll have to figure out what's going on with that. So I'm gonna use my Spellbinder, little mini Spellbinder. I've got, I got this years and years and years ago. Somewhere, I think it was Michael's. But it cuts little, 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 little things. So we're gonna try that now. I have an idea for this though. I'm gonna take them all apart, which I don't like doing, but I'm going to. These little suckers, I'm so afraid that they're going to pop off and I'm going to not find them. I like to try to get them in the trash because I have little kitty cats walking around here. I don't want them getting it stuck in their paw. Or taco. Hunter doesn't come up here, but. Or even me. My luck, I'll find it in one of my feet. Walk around barefoot. All right, I think the rest of these. Can cut out. All right, yeah, that'll be fine. All right, so my idea is to do these twice. One in black and one in yellow. Let's see what happens. Let me find some yellow. I'm trying to find a piece of scrap yellow, but I couldn't find one. I'll be right there, guys. Yellow, now we need black. Which I should have some black scraps. I always have black scraps. Always, always, always. Today, I won't have any. Nope. Full sheet of black, we're gonna have to cut. All right. 
Ready? Here we go. Little bee in there. Hey, y'all, cute little bee. All right, let's see. Hopefully, it cut. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's cut. I don't know that we'll need this, but we're gonna cut it anyway out of yellow because that's not fair. It's not fair to them if we don't cut them out of yellow too. I can always put it in a stash and use it later. save all these pieces for my idea. Okay, let's see. Let me tell you what, that little machine cuts like butter. Butter. Parquet. Butter. This is not sponsored by Parquet or butter in any means. <laughs> Okie dokie. The idea, I'm guessing you can guess by now. is to not poke yourself in the finger. All right, these little thingies. Okay, here's my idea, guys. Ready? Are you intrigued? The yell baby. If Taco heard me talk like that, she would come running up because she would think I was talking to her. Or to another animal that didn't deserve the love like she does, so she thinks. Okay. My idea is you have this piece, you have this piece. I think thought that these fit like on top of each other and they don't they not exact matches watch make a liar out of me <gasps> it totally is what did I do the other day I tried it and it didn't work I don't know what happened oh my gosh that'll totally work I didn't think it was a match. It's a match. They match up perfectly. I was like, that makes no sense. <gasps> because I was thinking of putting these, this like in the black. Because I didn't think that match. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Happy accident or happy whatever. 
Way to way to work the tool, D. Alright, now let's try this glue. This glue scares me because it squirted out on me the other day. I couldn't get it out. It's the Barely Art glitter glue. I will link everything I use here down below for you guys. But the other day I was trying it and I squeezed it really hard because it wasn't coming out. And then apparently I didn't have the lid screwed on properly and the whole thing popped off. And I had glue everywhere. It was a mess. My project stayed together pretty good though. I didn't know. I'm so excited because I was like, this is stupid to have it like this. Like, this is so disappointing. But, I must have had it on upside down or something the other day. Not realize that hole was there. Look how cute. Hopefully that dries clear. Oh, my Gonna do it real quick, guys. I'm gonna speed this up. Do you love it? I love this little this this is adorable. That will not go on this card, but so stinking cute. He's getting a little home right here. Guys, how cute is that? Love it, love it, love it, love it. That was well worth it. This I love. So cute. So much you can do with it. I'm so happy I discovered that. I swear the other day when I was... I tried it out the other day because I was excited about it. Because I like bees. As you can see, I have all kinds of bee stand, or stickers and... Just tis the season for bees for me, apparently. Um, anyway. I like this one a lot. So. <laughs> Sheen did good with this one. So anyway, guys. That is that whole video for the Sheen items that I purchased. I hope you enjoyed it. See, here's the one I did. The other day and I tried it upside down I know I did I know I didn't even see that hole there um, anyway I hope, hope you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up comment only only positive comments like I said please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this I appreciate it like I said the next video is going to be a regular Timu haul video of just a few household items that we've purchased and then I am waiting on a couple items to come in. So there'll be a video coming out with that one. That'll probably be at the end of the month though. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.